All right, space cadets. So today you're a scientist. One thing scientists like to do is we like to measure stuff. So we want to know how big things are and how far out they are away. This here, by the way, is a nebulae. We'll cover what they are later on. This one's called the Pillars of Creation, um, and it's create. It was. This is an actual photo taken by the Hubble Space Telescope, and it is taken in visible light and near infrared. So it's still visible, but on the very, very far side of it. All right, so let's talk about measuring the universe. Um, this is Hubble. This is like the one of the coolest things we've ever done. So oh, we'll get to Hubble later on. That's awesome. Um, anyway, we want to explain the different ways that we measure the universe. It's a bit drier than that, but be cool. We'll have fun. Um, whoa. All right, that's less intense. So this guy is Tycho Brahe. Look Tycho Brahe up. You won't be sorry. Ask your teacher about him, because he's cool. All right, turns out the universe is really big for It's too big for our measure regular measurements. Uh, humans, we're all right with numbers, but we're not great. And it turns out that, oh, what is that? 149 billion. 597,870,700 meters is a lot to deal with, and it, that's actually not that far at all. So, all right. An ast astronomical unit is, it's the average distance. The mean, it doesn't mean that it's angry, it just means that it's average. So the average distance between the Earth and the Sun, right, that's an astronomical unit. That's a really good measure of uh, distance if you want to measure things within our solar system. So the International Astronomical Unit, so defi decide, defined by all the different scientists hanging out together, probably in Brussels or Prague or somewhere nice, um, is 149,597,870,700 meters approximately. So approximately one astronomical unit, AU, is 150 million kilometers. That's a lot, because a billion is a thousand million. That's 150 million kilometers. This, the first useful measurement of this, and it was off by a solid, um, I don't know, factor of 10, is, was done by Tycho Brahe. Um, again, be super rad, ask your teacher. Um, light year. This is another measurement we use. It's the distance that light or a photon of light will travel in a year in a vacuum. And that's crazy town. That's a really big distance. It is one, it, oh, it's 9.5 trillion kilometers. That's a big distance. But again, there's not that a light year is not that far away in space. So 9.5 times 10 to the 15 meters, that will do for you, um, is one light year. And it's really useful for measuring things outside of our solar system. For example, the sun is roughly eight light minutes away, but the nearest star is light years. That's plural. Um, so light years is really useful for that. Um, that's big. But then we have the Parsec. Now, the Parsec is interesting because it was worked out in a different way. It was worked out using something called Parallax, and it's actually very, very, very accurate once you know what an astronomical unit is. Uh -huh. um, and it is 3.26 light years. So it's even bigger. Now, we could use parsecs to measure the distance of our galaxy. So these are big numbers. The universe is really, really, really big. All right, so what's parallax? Basically, this is how we worked out what a parsec is. And a parsec is the most useful measure of distance. Um, it's when you have two objects and um, different positions give you different views of that object. Um, a very a quick example of this is if you put your finger in front of your face and you close one eye and then open it, then close it, then open the other, and it looks like your finger's moving. Um, that's parallax, but on a really big scale, we can measure the distances to things that are really far away. 
Um, so the Earth's position as it cruises around the sun, which we see down here, um, is this is what gives a stellar parallax. It's actually a tiny difference in position. So see here to here, this is a nearby star. Those are very distant stars. That's not the scale. Um, what we have is we have a slight movement. Now, it is a very slight movement. Um, we measure in degrees or radians if you do physics later on. Um, but it's only like the really close ones, like the, re the ones where there's a big difference, it's like a thousandth of a degree. It's really tiny. So it's actually only been possible since about the 19th century to do this. Um, and that's it. We're going to do that in the ground at school. And we'll see you there.